Hello buddy, Pro back again, and if you've seen the title of this video, it's that there are a ton of tables being removed from Pimble Arcade. This is going to be effective June 30th, uh, 2018. Uh, yep, yeah, looking at it. I was on uh, Facebook last night, and I noticed this posting from Pimble Arcade from earlier in the day. And uh, I'm just going to kind of read it out here. Official announcement, WMS. Our long-standing licenses for the Williams and Bally pinball trademarks will finally come to an end on June 30th, 2018. Therefore, after this date, tables from these manufacturers will no longer be offered for sale within the pinball arcade. However, customers who purchased any of these tables prior to the deadline will continue to own them and will have access to them within the pinball arcade and we will continue to support them as we do the other tables in our collection I'm kind of wary about that last part. Uh, <laughs> uh, this change will affect all of our devices and platforms. So if you've ever been interested in owning these great tables, please purchase them now before they disappear. So what they're saying is, okay, this, their licensing agreement with these Bally William tables is coming to an end, and, and why, I don't know, but there's more to this. Um, but you have until June 30th. Uh, 2018 and from this date that's about a two month period uh, to buy these tables once you buy them even though they may be removed from whatever platform you'll still be able to download them um, I you know I'll get into that other stuff what I'm thinking kind of later about that because you know to me that just doesn't seem quite right I mean <laughs> uh, uh, anyway the rest of the the, the message says um, Farsight will continue to release new tables for the pinball arcade we're excited to announce that season 8 will launch later this summer which I'm kind of surprised they're still doing seasons because with all the tables they're removing some of these seasons uh, will be left with only just like one or two tables some no not one or two but two two to four tables in some cases um, I'll go through each season and how many tables are actually being removed from each season. Um, uh, da, 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 um, later this summer, all of recent Stern tables, uh, Stern tables in Stern Pinball Arcade, along with I, I see I'm I'm kind of confused about that statement about um, and will feature all of the recent. Oh, I see what they're saying. Um, season eight is pretty much going to have the tables that are in Stern Pinball Arcade. Pretty much, it sounds like. Storm Pin Pinball Arcade is kind of dead in the water. A and that's pretty much actually the reason I bought uh, this. I got this at Toys R Us uh, discount. Uh, it was like 30% off because of their clearance, and it was like the last copy they had left. But the reason I felt okay buying this is because I really didn't think there'd be any DLC for this. Uh, otherwise, I would have bought it for uh, like as DLC, but otherwise I wouldn't have bought it at all because I'm not too fond of the way Stern Pinball Arcade is set up. Uh, but that could be a story for another day. Um, so, you know, basically you're saying the tables that, like, maybe ACDC, uh, Star Trek, for example, could be in Season 8. Um, now, how long is Season 8 going to take? I don't know. <laughs> how many tables are going to be in Season 8? I don't know. Um, we'd like to sincerely thank all of our customers and fans over the past decade. Your amazing support of our game has helped build the Pinball Arcade into the greatest pinball simulation of all time. Pinball Forever... Now, it really does feel like Pinball Arcade is dying. A lot of people left comments. Uh, you know, a lot of people have said that Pinball Arcade was dying before, and I heard rumors. Uh, now, there, they after that, they posted another thing, like questions and answerings and FAQs, a fax, if you will, uh, WMS licensing fax. And I'll just kind of read off what they posted here. Why has the license not been renewed? Whose decision was it? The company that controls the WMS IP chose not to renew our agreement. And and that's where I'm like really confused. If like when they were setting up this agreement, why wouldn't they be allowed to keep selling what they've already created? I kinda kinda see the, the licensing like falling through and them not being able to create more Williams and Bally's, but then they have to go that extra step and remove off the store so nobody could actually purchase it anymore. And um you know, and that could be an argument for physical media, but honestly, if they were, you know, Pinball Arcade, I don't think really works that well as in the physical media. Um, just because it is that kind of pick and choose what kind of tables you want, and I don't think they would have been able to, um, you know, say, okay, we're done now, let's post everything to a disc. Um, in the U.S., there is Season 1 of the Pinball Arcade, 
But it, it's very awkward to have to put that in there and then buy the additional tables. And then you got some tables that are digital, and then you still have to put the disc in the plate. So it was kind of weird. Uh, for, for me, like, the Pinball Arcade worked better digitally. Um, but to just, you know, say that, okay, uh, you're not getting this license anymore. By the way, all those tables that you've already made, you can't sell those anymore either. But it is kind of good that if you've already purchased them, you can... Um, you can continue to play them. And, and in that other message, they did say that you they would keep updating those tables. But honestly, I don't see why. Why why would they keep updating and providing updates to something that you already own and nobody else could buy, even if it was better? Um, okay, number two. Uh, when will ba- Williams Valley tables stop being sold? June 30th, that was in the previous email. Will there be discounts on the tables before the contract expires? If not, why? No, no sales, so you'll have to buy it at full price. No, our agreement with WMS prohibits there being any sales on their tables before we have to take them off the market. So, again, that sounds like a bad deal. Uh, who took that deal? It, I mean, if it was the only way to get these Bally Williams tables up, well, at least they were up for five years in some cases. Well, the very earliest ones. Some of them haven't been up for a year, and I'll... I'll kind of get to that when I go season by season. Um, Will there be any updates, bug fixes for the tables before or after the contract expires? Yes, we will continue to support all of the tables in Pinball Arcade. Honestly, if they haven't fixed it now, why would they fix it um, later when nobody else can buy these tables? Uh, It really doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess the possibility is there that they could get the licensing back and these tables could come back. I mean, it's happened before with other things, um, but... And I wouldn't I wouldn't totally write this off. I mean, but honestly, if you were interested in any of the Bally Williams tables, you might as well buy them within the next couple weeks uh, before they disappear for good and you kind of miss out. Uh, the bad thing is that, you know, like, honestly, if I wanted to play this on the Switch, I'd have to shell out a ton of cash, and I'm just not going to do that. I'll just stick with... Um, I'll just stick with Steam. (laughs) What will happen to the tables that are already owned or unlocked as with the Kickstarter rewards once the contract expires? Everyone who owns a WMS table will still own it and still have full access to it. We will modify the game via updates before June 30th on each platform so the players can no longer buy the WMS tables if they haven't already. In most cases, if you don't own a WMS tape, don't own a WMS, you won't be able to see that table in the game at all. So not so they're going to be modifying the game. They're just going to vanish completely. It's not going to have the little lock symbol on it or not. You're just going to if you just start getting into the pinball arcade after June 30th, you're not even at those those tables even exist. Um, and it's it's interesting that they mentioned Kickstarter because some of these tables that are disappearing were funded with Kickstarter. Doctor Who, The Adams Family, um, Terminator 2, all Kickstarter funded tables, all gone. So that kind of sucks. I know some people are going to be pissed about that. Uh, but honestly, too, if you funded the Kickstarter, you probably have the table by now, too. But it's still kind of irritating that that's just getting eliminated and nobody else can buy it after June 30th. Um, but again, not to say that it couldn't come back later if they do get some sort of licensing agreement, but from, from the point, from the, the way things sound, this has been in motion for quite some time. And, um, like that's why they had, Oh, there won't be a couple, there won't be a uh, new table for a couple months for season eight. That's because I guess they, they didn't know what to do. Maybe. Um, they, and they need to spread it out further. Uh, again, it's just, you know, I don't know anything for sure. This is just my mind rambling about it. With the loss of the ba- Williams Bally tables, what's the future of the app? Will we see, uh, will it see continued, <laughs> will we see it continued with the new non-Williams Bally tables? And then what's interesting here is like our season eight, and this time they put season eight in quotes. So it makes me think that maybe that won't really be seasons anymore. I mean, how could they, how could there be seasons when like, you know, I like to have things sorted by seasons when I was doing the videos and stuff. I, I don't think I'll be able to do that anymore because it'll be really weird because some seasons will only have two tables in it. Some will only have four. Some will have eight. It'll really seem off balance. Um, so our season eight release will include all of the Stern tables as we've done to date for uh, Stern Pinball Arcade, plus a couple more. So it's good to hear that I don't have to go to Stern Pinball Arcade anymore to play like Mustang or Star Trek. 
even though I have a real Star Trek over there. It's just kind of interesting to see it in digital form. Um, we will continue to develop and release non-WMS tables. Once the WMS tables are removed from sale, the remaining tables for sale in the game, Stern, Gottlieb, and Elvin G, will be restructured into different packs based primarily on the table manufacturer. So, okay, that was one thing I didn't really see the first time I read through this. So that's good to hear that, you know, you'll still be able to buy table packs, just not in seasons. Maybe there'll be a, a, a Gottlieb, you know, part one table pack, a Gottlieb part two table pack, Stern part one table pack. Um, you'll still be able to buy table packs, I guess. But it still sucks that some of the best tables in Pimba Arcade were Bally and Williams. And if you watched my Pimba Arcade season by season, ranked season by season, usually at the top of the list were C Williams and Bally Bally's tables. Those those are pretty much my favorite. And it's really disappointing that uh, beyond June 30th, no one will be able to purchase those. A again, unless they can get the licensing back. I mean, the whole thing, the whole thing stinks, really. Um I just don't see, like, I don't know too much about, uh, like, legal mumbo-jumbo or whatever, but I don't see why the agreement couldn't have written, be written in the first place. That, oh, once we have this table for sale, it's for sale forever. Maybe WMS um, gets a portion of uh, the, the profits or whatever. That would have, uh, that would have certainly, like, I think in a way prevented them from like taking away the licensing. Oh, anyway, by the way, why would, what do they have to gain by taking away the licensing? I mean, do they have, are they unhappy with Farsight for some reason that we just don't know? Maybe something that'll come to light later. Uh, maybe somebody even knows and is going to comment why this has actually happened happening. Or is it that they just want the licensing back because they have other plans for it? Um, so, okay, here we are, number eight. What's happening with the staff at Farsight? Will there be layoffs? There are no plans to lay off any Farsight staff. You mean any further Farsight staff? Because we know, um, we've heard that um, staff has been uh, retired or let go months ago, uh, back, you know, just before season eight was announced. So, you know, I don't know if this is just a pl flat out lie or not. Um, is Farsight working on other projects? Yes, in addition to developing many more many more digital versions of Stern tables, more Gottlieb tables, possibly more tables from other manufacturers, uh, and an awesome 2D experience for mobile. We're working on a couple of new cross-platform games that are yet to be announced, primarily for consoles. Um, yeah, Farsight in uh, the realm of non-pinball stuff hasn't been that great. Uh, uh, I, I mean, we all really like, well, I shouldn't say we all really like, there are some people that really don't like Pinball Arcade, but a lot of people were fans of Pinball Arcade. Um, you know, it did need a little bit of work here or there, and we were, you know, a lot of people were begging, you know, why, how long does it take this bug, t uh, taking so long to fix? Um, you know, questionable things here and there, bugs took a long time to get fixed, uh, even the design of the program, why wasn't the program set up? And then the DLC could just be updated later. Why did the whole program need to be updated with the tables in it and then unlocked later? I mean, there's just a whole bunch of questions, um, questionable things that they did. But, um, yeah, what are they going to do in the future? Is, is, is anything they're going to do in the future going to be as popular as Pinball Arcade? And even on the grander scheme of things, Pinball Arcade wasn't that popular um i mean i don't even know what was more what's more popular pinball arcade or pinball effects you could ask anybody and they'd say you know one or the other i think um and personally for me i'm actually getting quite a bit into pinball fx3 i've been trying to play that every night um but we get to number 10 here that says this sucks right we are very disappointed by wms's license holder dis decision it's not great. So it's not great. Of course they're not happy. They can't make any more t money on these, on like two-thirds of the tables that they've created. Um, almost two-thirds. Uh, but we'd, but we'll be working to enhance the player's enjoyment of all of the tables in Pinball Arcade for years to come, and that remains to be seen. Um, okay. I kind of went through and I said a lot of the stuff that I already meant to say. Now I just want to kind of go through all the seasons, seasons by seasons. And you know what? I need to uh, find that here. I was going to go on my computer, but then I realized, hey, I could pull that up on my phone too. <laughs> all right. I've interspersed my thoughts throughout the whole uh, first two posts. 
And yeah, it kind of sucks, but I do have all the tables on Steam. But the problem is now, if I want it on another platform, like if I want it on the Switch, either I have to shell out a whole bunch of money now or I'm just not going to get the Williams Valley tables. I mean, it is a p- potentially, it is possible that they could get the license back in the future and those tables could all return. Um, but honestly, it, it kind of feels like a, um, a real hit for Farsight and Pinball Arcade, and they're just trying to put a positive spin on it. Oh, yeah, Stern Tables. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you got the Data East Tables. We got the Gottlieb Tables. But, yeah, the, uh, the Bally Williams Tables are really popular, uh, especially in real life. Um, so it is quite a hit. And you know what? It's 61 tables out of 95 that are going to be gone, unavailable per, for purchase. And uh, that was their last post, at least the most recent post that I saw on Facebook, where they just listed out all 61 tables uh, that are going to no longer be available. And I'm just going to kind of run through those really quick season by season here, just because. Um, And uh, season one is only going to have one. I mean, that was a season that had 22 tables. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Five tables out of 22 are going to be left. Uh, The tables that are going to be vanishing Tales of the Arabian Nights, Theater of Magic. And those two were actually in the bundle, like in a four-pack. They're not actually literally part of Season 1, but I I lumped them in with Season 1 just because they're like the core tables that were included with Pinball Arcade when it was first released. So um, those two tables gone. Uh, The Machine, Bride of Pinbot, um, Medieval Madness. Oh, an excellent table. That's... Sad to see gone. Uh, Circus Voltaire, Funhouse, Gorgo, Monster Bash, uh, Black Knight, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Taxi, Elvira and the Party Monsters, No Good Gophers, Scared Stiff, Twilight Zone, Star Trek The Next Generation, and Attack from Mars. Honestly, these are all great tables, and it's just a shame to see them all go. Um, Kind of the plus side is that if you really wanted to play these tables after the June 30th uh, deadline and you're on the PS4, you can find uh, Pinball Arcade uh, physical media. Physical disc Pinball Arcade has all these tables on it, uh, but that's only for PS4. Uh, That's in the U.S. and in Europe, I believe. Now, the Europe, Europe re- got a uh, physical release of Season 2, but the U.S. did not. So let's move on to Season 2. Um, actually, Season 2 fares a little bit better, actually. Out of 19 tables, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 are left. <laughs> um, so what's disappearing here? Dr. Dude and his excellent ray, Firepower, Cactus Canyon, uh, Space Shuttle, Whitewater, Centaur, Oh, man, so sad to see Centaur go. Uh, Pinbot, The Champion Pub, Whirlwind, and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And again, I say they're sad to see the tables go, but if you bought them already, you get to keep them at least since you bought them, you know, really. (laughs) Um, So let's move on to Season 3. This is where we drop down to 10 tables. So out of the 10 tables, only two will remain. Eight tables gone from Season 3. That's Fish Tales, Black Rose, Black Knight 2000. Oh, man, Black Knight 2000 has an awesome sound. It's, to me, that's got the greatest soundtrack in pinball. So I would say get Black Knight 2000 if you're on the fence about it. Uh, Who Done It, High Speed, Junkyard, Diner, and Brown Stroker's Dracula. Let's see, moving on. Season 4, again, 10 tables. Only two remain after 8 gone. Oh, I'm sorry, you know what? It's 10 tables. Yeah, 10 tables, 2 remain. I'm kind of getting thrown off because one table here is here twice. So what's disappearing? The Party Zone, Earthshaker, The Adams Family, uh, best-selling pinball machine of all time. Uh, it's a really good machine. You should get this one, really, if you are uh, if you don't already have it. Uh, Cyclone, Jackbox. I'm sorry, Jackbot. Not Jackbox. That's a totally different game. Uh, Xenon, Red and Ted's Roadshow, and Safecracker. I know a lot of people don't like Safecracker, but to me that's like a personal favorite of mine. Uh, I used to play it all the time in the arcade. Um, we're moving on to season five. Eleven tables, and five will remain. So six ta- six tables gone from season five. Um, high, the Getaway, High Speed Two, one of my favorites. Um, F14 Tomcat, No Fear, Dangerous Sports, 
Judge Dredd, Fireball, and Hurricane. Uh, season 6, another 12 tables. Actually, Season 6 wound up faring the best because it was mostly uh, Gottlieb tables in this one. So uh, only four tables disappearing from Season 6. We got uh, what's disappearing, Indianapolis 500, 8 Ball Deluxe, Doctor Who, totally recommend Doctor Who, and uh, Swords of Fury. Uh, the Doctor Who Master of Time is remaining because that was a Farsight original table, even though it was kind of based on the layout of Doctor Who. Uh, but I think that table sucks. <laughs> so get the uh, the original Doctor Who, I would recommend. And finally, Season 7. This season hasn't even been out for a year. Not even out for a year. And how many tables are disappearing from this? Like eight tables are disappearing from season seven. Some of these tables haven't even been out for like two months, three months, and and they're gone. Um, so what's disappearing here? Paragon, Firepower 2, World Champion Soccer, Fathom, Spanish Eyes, Wild Card, Sorcerer, and Bonsai Run. Bonsai Run feels like that just came out, and in, in a couple weeks, in a few weeks, it's going to be gone. Get Bonsai Run. If you're if you've got any tables for uh, Pinbark and you're thinking about um, getting any tables in season seven, uh, Bonsai Run is a really awesome table. And um, that's it. That's the list. Sixty one tables gone. <laughs> what can you do? I mean, the, I mean, the uh, the uh, licensing agreement had to have been terrible. I don't understand. Like, I, I, to me, in my mind, if it exists, like, how could they, like, possibly say, okay, we're going to revoke your license. You can't sell this anymore. And and what's their motivation, really? I, I The motivation seems really suspect, too. Why are they asking for more money? I, I And also, it's very obvious that Farsight doesn't seem to be, you know, they're, they're, they're trying to seem transparent. At least they're giving you almost two months to decide whether or not you want to buy these tables or not. It's not like it's the next day and these tables are gone and you totally missed a boat. You've got a couple of weeks to think about it and buy any tables that you want um, that may be disappearing if you haven't already bought them all, like I have. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just weird. And, uh, yeah, I get the feeling that Farsight isn't really saying the whole story either. Of course they're not going to. They're, they're trying to give everything a positive spin. Oh, yeah, we're losing these tables, but um, but we're going to have more tables in the future. I mean, 61 tables out of 95, that's almost, that's almost two-thirds of the existing product gone. And they're starting with like 30-some tables then. It doesn't look good for Farsight, honestly. Um, and it really doesn't look good for the future of Pim Arcade. Anyway, I probably, I've talked way too long about this. Um, I know it sucks, and I'm probably, there's going to be a whole bunch of comments I already know about people saying, well, yeah, yeah, Farsight sucks. They don't deserve it. And there, I am also going to get uh, also comments about alternatives out there. That, and I didn't really want to talk about the alternatives. There are, are t alternatives to this. Also, who's not to say that somebody can't really um, download and hack these tables, you know, back into uh, Pinball Arcade <laughs> at some point. Uh, but honestly, not good all the way around. Not good for on the, the look of digital media as a whole either. So leave it at that. That's all I really have to say. Bye. He's challenged Yellow Belly. Go for the kill.